If it's a herd of elephants that have completely destroyed their crops, the reaction is to hit back at the animal, either injuring it or killing it fatally. One of the biggest things we found was that even though the government has compensation mechanisms in place, that less than 30% of people who were affected were filing. And so we set up this very elegant system where it's connected to an 1-800 number. We circulated this number to 300 villages around Bandipur and Nagarhale. People would call the number and our field team would respond every single time. They would go there, they would assess what had happened, and they would help them file the documentation. In just 10 months, we've now helped 3,000 families. What we're doing is just improving the efficiency, perhaps and sometimes removing the corruption that's in place, and getting people to feel that Somebody cares. Somebody will come when I lose my crop. Somebody will come when my cow is killed. Somebody will come when my family member is injured. What's happened now with tourism is that there are rules in place, but in terms of regulating how tourists behave, what they wear, how, how they take their pictures, um, I've seen huge variations depending basically on the guide and the naturalist that's sitting with them. So you have a very good guide and naturalist, the tourists are very well behaved.